I live. I stand. Look at those fingernails. Hey there, you weirdos. Weirdos. <laughs> this is Grace Cinema here, bringing you yet another reaction review video for Spooky Season. Spooky everything. Yeah, so this is a special one because as you can see right now, we're doing this all in black and white because we're doing a black and white movie. Fancy bitches. Yeah, we're dark and evil. And, and dark and broody and, and evil and dark. Yeah, that's the thing. Okay. <laughs> so I haven't told you what we're doing yet. You rarely do. I rarely do. So I'm gonna. I mean, he went over an overview of what he's doing this month, but he hasn't told me what we're doing tonight. Yeah. So I'm gonna let you know right now. Let me pull this out here. What we're gonna be doing? Cool. Is I mean, going you have to, to tell be... me at some point. Nosferatu, finally! Nosferatu, the great, fantastic, old adaptation of Dracula. An unofficial adaptation, which nearly was destroyed forever, but thankfully it survived and is going to become one of the classics mm -hmm. in horror. Back that up. How did it nearly get destroyed forever? Because it was unofficial. Stoker, the wife, whatever her name was, tried to sue them and won in court and they said, okay, you must destroy all copies, but they didn't destroy all copies. One survived and it has now become one of the greatest uh, silent era movies of all time. Uh, so this is a silent movie we'll be watching, but also this is over 100 years old, as of last year, it's 100 so years it's old. Now... It's fully public domain, which means I don't have to fucking edit this video. <laughs> Makes it easier for me for this month. So you get the full reaction of this our blah, whatever commentary what we do usually as we talk about this but we will be having to read since there will be the cards and titles so in between that uh but there's some great imagery in this and cool. uh finally get to see it you will finally get to see this for the very first time yeah all right it's been on my list since learning about nosferatu and that, that I knew well before I met you, for the record. Uh -huh. um, but then I saw what we do in the shadows, and I'm like, maybe at some point I should watch this movie. <laughs> yes, so. Uh, yeah, so, let's not waste too much time here, since well, this is all going to be with a full video. <laughs> all right, so, are you ready? Do the thing. Let's do the thing. All right, here we go. Nosferatu. And play. Friedrich Wilhelm. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually watched a silent movie before. Really? Really? Well, this is a great first one to start with. Okay. This is also a restored edition. Tinted nitric French French. Interlude. Intertitles. Uh They did an edit for this to put the English ones in. Okay. Yes, yeah, so they did work on restoring this since for a period it was like lost or almost lost, so. And they've been doing what they can, as you can see, to restore this. So this came out at the same time as Brown Stoker. Right? No, no, but, uh, this was 1922. Bella Gozi Dracula was in they claim it's copyright. Because the book is copyright. The story was still in copyright. If you write a book today, you own the copyright for that story for your whole life plus 75 years. So he wrote the... Nosferatu, a symphony of horror. Yeah, and if he dies, oh. the rights go to his estate. Oh. oh. Copyright law is a bitch. Trust me. I'm with it now. Yeah. This is based off of Bram Stoker's Dracula, the book. And that's why then when they made the movie, they got all pissy about it, I get it. Yeah, because they called it Nosferatu, and they call him Count Orlock and not Dracula. But it was the I same can't story. wait to take you to Count Orlock's. But it was the same story, so. Count Orlock's Nightmare Gallery. I love it. Yes, we're 
be visiting Salem at the end of October. It's gonna be fun. Finally, we can crowd him with fun. And take him to all the places. Very crowded. We should have a nice little oasis that town we're staying in, which is right away from that Marblehead. As you, as you can see, there's some color tint to this yeah. as well. I reflected at length on the origin and passing of the great death in my hometown of Visborg. Visborg. Here, Here is the story. Once in Visborg lived a man named... Hutter and his young wife, Ellen. Butter? Butter? Hutter? No, it's Hutter. I have no I, It's Hutter, because I, I looked at the other letters. All that fancy lettering, sometimes it's hard to tell. It's so hard to tell, this is why I never took up calligraphy. But yeah, you can see the color tint on it Such as well. It's a pretty color. Mm -hmm. So it's not like full black and white, but it is... It's still got that like monochrome. Kitty! Yeah. Sepia colored. Mm -hmm. Put that away. I am. I can't edit that part out. I'm watching. Just needed to shut that up. Her and her damn watch. Always yelling at her. Hey, my watch does lots of good things for me. Changed to Harker. I think they changed Harker to Hutter. Harker was way better. Well, I've no doubt it was better, but then again. They are kind of ripping off Dracula for this. Which is why they got sued. So they had to change the names. Well, if you change the names, there's enough to a certain judge. Apparently not. <laughs> Thankfully that judge did not survive. I mean, the movie survived. Yes. The words I'm trying to get out there. Not so fast, my young friend. No one can outrun their fate. Sure about that? We're probably just gonna narrate the interludes and titles Tell here. Tell what's happening. Yeah. There was an estate agent named Nock, about whom all sorts of rumors circulated. The only thing for certain was that he paid his people well. That's an interesting writing. How much trying to bet they got drunk one night was like, what looks like weird ass script? <laughs> Some nice makeup on them, though. To make them up. The hair, thanks. Oh, you know, it's not already bald. It looks a little exaggerated. The veining, though, would be very, very hard to do. Yeah. Remember, in silent films, they have to just 
mainly work with what you're seeing. So you have to... Yeah, but look at the veining on his head. He probably started bald and then they added the hair. Most likely, yeah. That'd that be would easy. make sense. Those eyebrows, though, man. <laughs> look at them eyes. Yeah, and I know how they did the teeth, too. They used to do that for baits. Stay, fucker. Stupid quill kept falling out. Count Orlock, his grace from Transylvania, wishes to purchase a nice house in our little town. You could earn a tidy sum. You might have to go to a bit of trouble, a little sweat and maybe. A little blood. Blood. I think he's like essentially the Renfield type character. So instead of Harker, he's Renfield. Which yeah. means we haven't met me. There are some stories that also combine Harker and Renfield on this, that I recall, so. That was Norse. Did you find some fancy symbols in the dictionary? Yeah, let's just throw these on here now. Like, dude, you look totally better if you could just go full shaved. Yeah. He wants a very nice, empty house. Looks a little crooked. A little dilapidated with no windows. That house, across from yours, offer him that one. Off with you. Have a good trip, my young friend, to the land of phantoms. So is he trying to fuck the guy over with a dilapidated house? Or does he really think he'll like it a lot? He's a real estate agent. He's gonna fuck, try to fuck him over, probably. Get the sale! I don't know any real estate agents. I'm just fucking shit. <laughs> Capitalism! I must travel far, far away to the land of thieves and phantoms. Yeah. Land of gypsies, thieves and phantoms. That's what that's referring. Poor Romani, I've been treated like shit for so long. Look at her all worried. Sad. Like you just killed a puppy. It's an interesting bag. going away on a very long trip far, far away. To the land of thieves and phantoms. Mm -hmm. But first, must dramatically kiss her. But only for a second, because propriety. You're inside. Go at it. But then we couldn't have the children watch it. I don't see any children. No. Oh. <laughs> Thus, Hutter entrusted his anxious wife to the care of his friends, the wealthy ship owner Harding and his sister. Definitely Hutter. because you can't see their lips connect. Hmm. But she's so sad. 
don't worry. Be happy. But wait, just one more. You have to know how much I love you. Because I haven't told you enough or married you or anything. I'm just gonna be sad. Pretty yours. traveled down countless dusty roads until finally the Carpathians gleamed above him. The horses pulled harder. Yeah, you see the tint color changes. So we're out in the wilderness now. Romania gets green color. Did you ever see where he actually was? Was he in Germany? No. Original story it's London, but he right. has to get around it, they can change it. Really could take place anywhere. More beer! Quickly, bring me a dinner! I'm on my way to Count Orlok's castle! And everyone stops and stares for a minute. Oh, I was right! Shocking. It's like we know this story. Mm hmm. Yes, he's scheduled to meet Count Orlok. Scheduled? Scheduled. I can't tell if he's I... angry or concerned. <laughs> I too often think of the Dracula Den Loving It movie. For the Dracula story, I just love the way Mel Brooks parried it. You can't go any further tonight. The werewolf is roaming the forest. Oh, you're Josh and me, uh, but we're not. Stay the road and keep clear of the moors. Aww, that's a hyena. Those are horses. Those are horses, but that... That's... That's not a hyena, but boy, does it look like one. Like a fox? Something they just painted it, maybe? Uh -huh. To make it look funny? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's sepia again. It's a cool looking bed, although it doesn't really look like it'll hold him. Cute little dirtle type dress she's wearing. Oh, that horse is pissed! Gotta be a hyena. Or some kind of relation of the hyena. Hmm. Interesting. Seven deadly sins. There should be more comments there. 
From the seed of Belial sprang the vampire Nosferatu, who liveth and feedeth on human blood with me. This unholy creature liveth in sinister caves, tombs, and coffins, which are filled with cursed dirt from the fields of the Black Death. And a leisurely pace of speaking, they do give you lots of time to read this. That's good. They do. I mean, that's 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 way better than just like Homeland dirt. You have to have Black Death dirt. Black Death dirt. It makes way more sense. Plague dirt. What mountain range they use for this? I sincerely doubt it's the actual Andes or not Andes. What fucking mountain range is in Romania? Yeah. Whatever. I mountain don't range. know for it's... certain. I don't think it's the Alps. That's Italy, because Hannibal crossed the Alps. Right, but the Alps stretch up through Switzerland. I think there's a break though in between Romania and Italy, and the new mountain range. Well, there's Greece. <laughs> Uh, in Switzerland. <laughs> Italy doesn't touch for me. No, it doesn't. Get out of the horse, he's frolicking. And all the humans trying to chase them. Oh, I know your pain, my people. <laughs> what do they got? Hey, or halters? Halters, quick, run! The same time. Pyres, terrible phantoms, and the seven deadly sins. Ha 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 I know better than this. Let's party foul it. And now I'm gonna tie my shirt around my waist because we can't show a dick in a silent film. And get wet. Hmm. I'm just washing it. character kind of reminds me of the guy that plays Billing, uh, Sir Billingsley, or Mr. Billingsley. Whatever, the main character in Pride and Prejudice that wants to wed the oldest sister. If you say so. I've never even ever seen Pride and Prejudice to know. Karen No. I've seen Pride and Prejudice in Zombies. I should get to that at some point. But Pride and Prejudice with yeah. Karen Knightley was... I mean, I've watched Bridget and that's close enough. It's not. It's better. There's more sex. Yeah. <laughs> Get a move on. It's getting dark. Rude. Look at that golden glow! Oh. Nice. No way to recreate the golden hour. You just literally put a yellow film on that. Winter, just to make it... It's the golden hour, kids. This is when we do all of the things, because it's so pretty! It's my favorite time of day. Pay what you will, we stop here. Why? There's a fucking vampire in that castle. He ain't going farther. And why wouldn't you tell him that before he gets in the carriage? Maybe you wouldn't pay him to take him. We won't go. We've got a bad feeling about heading over the pass. Okay. Good thing we packed light. It has a fabulous coat on. As soon as Hutter crossed the bridge, he was seized by the eerie visions he so often told him.
interesting tiny tower. It's a shrine. Name's just a lookout. No, that's not Dracula. I mean, get Warlock. in. Yeah, this is consistent Look, with the, the story. Even the horses are so covered. Sun. Empire sure horses. Us. It looks cool. That's a full comparison in Cornet, though. It um, could just be. It's a day for night shot where it's supposed to be night, and they have to the day to get the light. That's why it's got the darker filter. Um, color. Yeah, but that's not what I'm getting at. The horses are literally covered in a full Paris and Cunea mask. Like, we joust in those. If you're doing it, like, properly. I don't understand why they have carriage horses covered that much. Because it looks cool. What did you do? Hello, go to that way. Yeah. Yeah, that way. Interesting castle. I really do wonder where this is coming. Why do they have points? If you know where this was filmed, tell us in the comments. We would love that, thank you. Well, I guess that's not Nosferatu because he's running away. Oh no, that's totally him. They do the same thing in... Doors that open themselves. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Like I said, they do the same thing in adaptations when they have the Dracula actor play the final carriage rider. I see. Oh, there he is. Yes. And the doors that close by themselves. Someday people will walk through them pretending they're Jedi. All the time. Eyebrows yeah. and a schnaz. You have kept me waiting too long. It's almost midnight. The servants are asleep. I love you. There's not enough space in here. You will get trapped. Raven. Thank you. You're gonna nick yourself. What would you be that idea? I've seen a vampire movie before. <laughs> that was the Nazi symbol. The swastika? Well, guess what? This was made before they appropriated the symbol from the Indians. So, was a Nazi symbol then? Ah, you're right. Told you. He did cut himself. Who could have seen that coming? I don't know. Everybody. Anybody that's ever seen any Dracula movie. You've hurt yourself. The precious blood. Let me be a creeper and put my thumb. Put your thumb in my mouth. Let me just lick it up. Lick it kinky. up. So very kinky. Can't have vampires without kink. It's a requirement. Mm -hmm. You look perturbed. Well, if a stranger came up and started sucking on your thumb with blood on it, wouldn't you be perturbed? Especially if he followed you with hungry eyes. Can we not stay together a little while longer, my lovely man? Mm, 
Thank it's you, still quite a long time until the sunrise, and I sleep by day, dear fellow, completely dead to the world. <laughs> Just to the world? Uh, I mean, somebody start sucking on my bloody finger. I don't mind. Please start. If that person has some sort of disease or something like that, it can be spread from their saliva into your bloodstream. <sighs> I suppose. As soon as the sun rose, the shadows of the night retreated from Hutter. Shadows of the night. Man, you are sleeping super stiff. servants and you have to do all of it yourself. Maybe. Hey look, he's been healed. <gasps> Two little holes? How the fuck do you bite them that way? That'd be quite difficult to do a bite. Straight into the trachea? Yeah. Yeah. What a gracious host. Feeds his guests. I think you mean he feeds his livestock. Mm-hmm. That's a cool looking bottle. This would be stunning to do a photo shoot at. Great scenery. Mm -hmm. My darling, dearest, do not be troubled that your beloved is far away. Fucking flies. Mm -hmm. Mosquitoes are a terrible nuisance. Huh. Two just bit me on the neck, side by side, right close together. Huh. Oh, oh, yeah, it was mosquitoes. Huh, huh, huh. I mean, I have had mosquitoes bite me in the vampire bite style, but not on my neck. One dreams deeply in this desolate castle, but don't let that frighten you. Very interesting posting you've got there. Yo, bitch, take my letter. Sunset is upon us. The ghostly evening light seemed to bring the castle shadows to life again. As it should be. It's a very nice hat he has. 
Very intriguing hat he has. It's distinctive. What you got there? Who's this lovely face? Your wife has a lovely neck. That's why to all my guys, friends as well. You have ones. Your wife has a lovely neck. You do, and they expect it from you. <laughs> I'm buying the house. That nice deserted house across from yours. And your wife. With her purdy neck. Your wife's got a purdy neck. Me right where I was going. <laughs> don't think I'd ever name a daughter Wilhelmina, but I definitely would name a daughter Mina. It's a good name. Did you ever say what his wife's name is in this? Uh, no, it was not one thing. At night, that same Nosferatu digs his claws into his victims and suckles himself on the hellish elixir of their blood. Don't we all, man? Don't we all? Could go for a good suckling myself. Beware that his shadow does not engulf you like a demonic nightmare. Mm. Man, I want a shadow that engulfs you like a demonic nightmare. That would be great. <laughs> oh, wait. I have one. She's got four legs and fur. Yes, and she climbs on you and just flops. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm talking about you, me fish little demonic shadow. Mwah. I love you. Yes. Do good dog. Go lay down. Place. Place. Oh, that's why he wears the hat. Hides the ears. Because <laughs> then you can't tell he's a goblin. Definitely has very goblin-like ears. I should look into this. I wonder when Dracula and Count Orlock kind of combined. Well, this basically is Dracula. I just renamed him. Right, but they apparently used the name Count Orlock in Bram Stoker's thing, and I wonder, you know, how they... I don't recall them doing that. I think they specifically named him Orlock just to get around having to call him Dracula because they didn't make a copyright. But yeah, he's doing his thing. Definitely doing his thing. Slow little walk. At that very moment. Feasting on the wife. She's dreaming. Oh, she has a bad feeling, I bet. I get those too, baby girl. Oh, talk to the friend. Or, you know, you could walk as though you're in a dream state out to your balcony. In that very fine bedroom you have there. That's an interesting pipe he's got. Quite a pipe, yeah. That's like the didgeridoo of pipes. Or the bassoon of What the fuck are you doing? It's like she a trance or a sleepwalk. Yeah. yeah. Ellen. Ellen! Oh, her name is Ellen. Ellen. I like Mina better. Gotta change the names. No, we're not doing Dracula. It's, a, it's another vampire. Doctor! Get a, Get a doctor! Very nice work and use of the shadows. Since it's like no talking and all that, it's always a very visual medium when it 
comes with the silent film era, especially the horror films. So they play a lot with the light and shadows. It's very cool. Mm hmm. I'm just gonna do my little, little walk away. Of course, you can see how Nick Cage modeled his walk in Vampire's Kiss and that. Look at that. walk. Mm hmm. Just a mild case of blood congestion. You know, we get those. The doctor described Ellen's anxiety to me as some sort of unknown illness. But I know that on that night, her soul heard the call of the death bird. Nosferatu was already spreading his wings. At dawn, Hutter set out to investigate the horrors of the previous nights. are still on. And he has all of his buttons. You got jibbed. Look at them fangs. Chappers. First edition of Vampire Fangs. The fingers. Yeah. Definitely some good makeup extensions on those. Very fast. Make a little coffin pyramid. <laughs> you leaving without you? Ellen, Ellen. Leaving without you. Just walk out the front door. He's not there. Maybe he locked him in. Who knows? Well, at least he was smart to rip the bed sheets into strips first. But you left your bag behind, dipshit. He's in a hurry. If it's gone for the ship, Yes. 
It makes my speaking English good. Same here. Same here. What is this, a little mini Demeter? Or what? It's the last voyage of the Demeter. Well, I assume this is the barge that's taking it to the ship. End of Act 2. Act 3! Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. He's returned home. He was brought to the hospital yesterday by farmers. They said he had fallen. He still has a fever. Got some hair on Coffins. Nosferatu was coming. Danger was on its way to Vismorg. Professor Bulwer? A parcel. Then investigating the secrets of nature and its unifying principles told me about it. Caskets filled with dirt were loaded onto the double masted schooner Empusa. So they changed the name of the Demeter. Empusa. Yes. Yeah. A para. Paracilician? I don't know. That's another Greek name, though. It's a word. Do you think this is all from the perspective of. Van Helsing? Uh, the novel itself is written as like a diary. The ship sets sail tonight. Uh, from multiple entries and multiple people. Mm. Books, okay. Not a big fan of the style or the writing style of the time, but the story itself is solid. Which is why there's so many annotations. Port Authority Galea's bill of landing for the ship imposer. Galais de Visborg, Port of Embarkation Varna. Cargo six crates of dirt for experimental purposes. <laughs> 1838. Oh, look at that. So it's experimental purposes. That's what I say when I bring all my coffins full of dirt. Of course. Yeah. It's for science. For science! sailors have their own food. Depends on long voyages, they help provide fresh meat. I should note that in those days, Professor Bulwer was teaching his students about the dreadful methods of carnivorous plants. Mm. One me. viewed with horror the mysterious workings of nature. Feed me. Oh, that's not where I went. Hmm. Yep. You know, if I didn't go on the road half of the year, we'd have carnivorous plants in the house, right? I have no doubt. <sighs> Dreams for a future plant. Oh, Venus flytrap. Come on, get it, get it. Get it, get it. Good. She doesn't even have it. Got it. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. They're finicky little creatures, Venus fly traps. Hard to take care of. Interesting, considering they hand them off to so many people thinking they're the easiest. Like a vampire, no? No, nothing like a vampire. More like a spider. As the predator Nosferatu approached, it seemed that the estate agent, Nock, had already begun to fall under his spell. Because he looks like a leprechaun. 
The patient who was admitted yesterday has gone stark raving mad. Not stark raving mad, that's way worse than regular mad. Blood is light. Blood is light. So he must be Professor Seward. All right. It's the same doctor that came to check on Ellen. Yeah, makes sense. You gotta keep up with who's who since they had all the names changed. But the characters are mostly the same. This one here. A polyp with tentacles. Polyp. 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 I think that word needs to have a vowel. I'm just gonna say. Transparent, almost ethereal. Little more than a phantom. Spiders. Mm. Look at the little oh. spiders. Oh, that's an orb weaver. Ooh, don't you like them? No. Little spiders. No, I don't. I don't like them at all. I could, I could do without them. There's exactly one spider I allow to remain in this house, and it's because he's paying rent. You better keep doing it. Yes, tie the madman up, because it's Toad's his fault he's mad. Ellen was often spotted on the beach in the solitude of the dunes. Her eyes scanned the waves and the horizon as she pined for her beloved. so many graves on the beach. Because it looks nice. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's some croquet. This letter. for all the sailors that get lost at sea. Hmm. That Could makes be. sense. My darling, dearest, do not be troubled that your beloved is far away. Mm. 
mosquitoes are a terrible menace. Nuisance. Nuisance. Two just bit me on the neck, side by side, quite close together. Curse of his heart. Dreams deep in this desolate castle. Don't let that frighten you. That one's actually really fast. This dude needs to rethink his facial hair. Yeah. Yes. Look, he's finally up and about. He's sort of. Vertical. Blood loss. No, I must go. I must get home as quickly as possible. Yeah, you do. You got a vampire stalking your lady. You know, if you eat the entire crew, the ship doesn't go anywhere. No, well, the ship stays up, right? You just have to steer yourself at that point. Which is impossible to do with a ship that big. through unknown terrain. Very good man. Letting a horse just work their way through is a great way to break their leg. Mm -hmm. Careful, man. He'll bite you. Uh, oh, no, just... Pick your pocket, take the little piece of news. Plague! A plague epidemic has broken out in Transylvania and in the Black Sea ports of Vana and Gilead's. Galaz. Masses of young people are dying. All victims appear to have the same strange wounds on their necks, the origin of which is still a mystery to doctors. The Dardanelles have been closed to all ships suspected of carrying the plague. A plague of bloodsuckers. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Yay! What a happy little Renfield. <laughs> That's a werewolf. A sailor has taken ill below deck. He's delirious. guy playing Mr. Hyde in Van Helsing would be proud of. Yes, some facial hair. I have a sailor sleeping in hammock as it should be. Swing from side to side. We also allow some more sleeping arrangements than actual beds.
Oh, night. It's night. Got on that night filter. Interesting how he suddenly teleported to be there. Maybe it's a vision. Oh, well, maybe. Telling him which box has Dracula in it. Nosferatu. That is also very smart to walk your horse down a hill so that way they don't slip and kill you both. You're down it now. You should be able to get on it. Spread like a scourge through the ship. The first sailor that was infected pulled the whole crew down into a dark, watery grave. By the light of the sinking sun, the captain and first mate said goodbye to the last of their comrades. He is having a smorgasbord on that shit. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. The sailors farewell. Well, he ain't getting any dinner. Toss him overboard. It's true. I'm going below. If I'm not back up again in ten minutes. Be sad. Set the ship on fire? Yeah. I'm not back in ten minutes. Shave. He's like, I'm out. difficult to say how weakened young Hutter was able to overcome all the obstacles of the trip home. Meanwhile, the deadly breath of Nosferatu filled the sails of the ship so that it flew toward its goal with supernatural speed. <sighs> to kill the werewolf? She's not actually at her house. Early 
part of the century. They had an actual bed on a ship. Sure. Yeah, there is no CGI in 1822. Okay, I'm gonna tell you that right now. There's a company mattress. I've been on some beds where it's a stiff ass mattress. I'm like, oh my god. There's like a camping trip in some place. Mm -hmm. I must go to him. He's coming. the vampire she's going towards or her husband? Maybe her husband. We hope her husband. She hopes her husband. Oh, what's she doing there? Your little knock Renfield? He wants to see you at the window. The Here ship goes. has arrived. You know, to be honest, they shouldn't have called that ship the, De the Demeter. They should have called it the Persephone. Demeter was the goddess of life in the growing season. I don't think Dracula named the ship himself, okay? It's just whatever ship was available. I know, but I'm just saying Bram Stoker, who I believe did name the ship, should have called it the Persephone. Yeah, but maybe sometimes you don't want to be too on the nose with some things. Yeah. The master is near. The master is near! Turn your back on the crazy dude. Never turn your back on the crazy dude. I have wondered for a long time why he said that Nosferatu took his coffins with him filled with dirt. I have surmised that vampires can only draw their shattery strength from the first earth in which they were, in which they were buried. Grave dirt! Play dirt. Hmm. Oops. Yeah. Foe's caught in the thing. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. I'm okay. I'm ready. As long as you're alright. I'm alright. Look, he's just carrying his own little coffin. Like, this is mine. It's very strong. It's probably quite hollow. Yeah, it's still bulky, though. Yeah. And now the mousies will get out and start to play all throughout Europe because everybody liked to kill cats. Rats. Dipshits. You wouldn't have this problem if you had good mousers.
I mean, or you could just have a snake on board. Cats eat mice faster than snakes do. Just carrying that thing. Never mind, not this house. Thank God you are safe. Everything will be fine now. Famous last words. Meanwhile, in his broken down factory. Spike started getting a place ready for a car. Just gonna phase, phase through, through it. The door. Yeah. But now the random people are getting on the boat and going, why is this ship fucking here? Ooh, he got sucked. Of course he did. Uh, that, that was him. That was him right there. Yep, yeah, he did. We've looked everywhere, not a living soul on board. Not even a dead one! As we know, it's the dead souls you have to look out for. Duh. But he's already at his new house. Captain's log, stardate. <laughs> Varna, 12th July. Crew besides myself, the captain, one helmsman, one ship's mate, five sailors. God, there was something underneath that, because there's no way you could read that writing.
Isn't that the friend? I think so, yeah. July 13th. One sailor is taken ill with fever, heading south, southwest, wind direction, northeast. Fourteen July, mate is talking nonsense, claims an unknown passenger is below deck. Hmm. Heading southeast, wind direction northeast, day ten. Twenty second July, rats in the hold of the ship. Danger of plague. Uh oh, plague danger. Should have gotten a cat. Danger of plague. Return to your homes. Bolt all windows and doors. That'll keep the germs out. You weren't all just around a dead body that supposedly had plague. Nah. I'll definitely keep the little mousies out of your house. Singing telegram. Proclamation. The Atiyabai decreed that the, min min the municipal authorities forbid the citizenry to transport the suspected plague stricken to the hospital, as this shall only spread the plague through the streets of our town. Thanks. You, know, you had a little bit of struggle with that. I did. My word did not. Word. My mouth did not want to say that word. My word did not want to say that mouth. <laughs> Your mouthing was not as wording as well as it has in the past. No. End of Act 4. Act 5! Time for the final act. God, I hope so. I gotta pee. Most films have a three-act structure. Shakespeare, I believe, had like a five-act structure, and Boobin initially. I'm assuming the cross means that there's plague victims. No, it means they're Christians. It's a time period. They're all supposed to be Christians. It means God pass over us, kill the other children. Or is that a, or is that the door. Jewish thing? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> it's only for Jewish people. And during Passover. Yes. God, we know you're stupid and can't tell who's who, so we'll give you a clue. That's what that is. <laughs> Great omniscient being doesn't know who to kill without a little marking over your door. It's more like he doesn't know who to kill. It's like it's more like he doesn't know who not yeah. to kill. I think an all-knowing being should know these things. That's the point of being all-knowing. Yeah, you know what? It's fair, but you know what? I also didn't create the earth in seven days. Mm. Hutter had made Helen promise not to touch the book which had caused him such frightening visions, but she found its strange force irresistible. Mm. Six days. <laughs> Six long nights. And then you rest on the seventh. Not yet, Raven. You can't go out. Still. Baby, I know. We're late to feed you, but you're gonna have to wait. At night, that same Nosferatu digs his claws into his victims and suckles himself <laughs> on the hellish elixir of the blood. Yeah, let's do some suckling. Suckle, 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 Baby, suckle. Baby, place. We're nearing the end. I know. Just check. Place. Beware that his shadow does not engulf you like a demonic nightmare. Yeah, it's what we saw earlier. I know. Yep. But now she's reading it. She is. 
Deliverance is possible by no other means, but that an innocent maiden maketh the vampire heed not the first crowing of the cock. Hmm. This done by the sacrifice of her own blood. First crowing of the cock. Because we're adults. Listen, if your cock makes that noise, you probably should see a doctor. It's excited! <laughs> What she's saying is, you need a virgin. A virgin? A virgin. Ooh. Fucking virgins. Fucking virgins. Look. A dilapidated building that's always been there. That is what I look at every night. Because it's across the street from your house. I could see a little Nosferatu head. Oh, I could you? I believe that's what she's pointing out. Okay. He's looking at her. Wait to suckle on that neck. She's gonna sacrifice herself. Fear lurked in every corner of town. Who was still healthy? Who was sick? You know what that's like. It's a pandemic. It's the Rona. It's a plague. It's basically what the Rona was. Pretty much. I'll run over quickly and fetch sewers. 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 I'll fetch that word. That doctor guy. Yeah. Uh oh. The light went out. I am frightened. Uh oh, it's a procession. Light people. And we have two pole bearers per cas casket. Oh. Caskets are heavy. Coffins are not that much, so. The shape of coffins are rectangular. Deliverance is possible. Same thing. By no other means but that of an innocent maiden maketh the vampire heed not the first crowing of the cock. This done by the sacrifice of her own blood. <laughs> That's right, cock crow. town was paralyzed by fear. They were looking for a sacrifice. They chose Nock. Let's sacrifice the crazy guy. So why the fuck not? Made an entire lifetime out of that. People saw him. He fled from the house. He strangled the guard. It's obviously his fault. He strangled him. 
He's a vampire. Vampires don't strangle, bro. Do your research. Strangle them with his teeth. <laughs> there he goes. Cue the Stooges. Cue the Benny Hill theme. Cue the Lynch Mob. <laughs> You Adolf Hitler? You could move. I'm just saying. What a pot belly is. <laughs> yeah. It must be very hard to climb a belly like that. I wonder if it's real or if that's like a pillow they shoved in his pants. I think it's uh, like a pillow. Yeah. You know, if you gave birth back fangs, you could dress up as him from Halloween. Hello. I love you. A final letter. They'll never find me here. Of course not. I am invisible. If I don't move, they won't see me. Same thing I use. It's literally the same thing I use at the time. That mask of the orange is invisible. Are the absolute best. Just like drags. Damn it! We confused the crazy guy for a scarecrow! Hey, Whatever will we do now? And fuck those crows! I mean, fuck that farmer whose crows are not gonna be scared away now. <laughs> it's alright, they'll replace him with a guy that never should have been killed in the first place. We could have a night of a scarecrow. <laughs> Got the tongue. Stay on that window. She's his wife, why is she sleeping alone? Maybe he's out hunting. I'll just cut my boob to find out. Ah, oh, she's not alone. See, look, there he is. It's by her side. He's just watching over her. Slowly through my way over here. <laughs> this is thriller. <laughs> Man, that must be nice when you're a vampire. The door's just open for you. It is nice. Oh, he's out like a light bear, girl. You were oh, saying? Never mind. I was mistaken. Now she's out like a life. Bower, get Bower. But first, here's my boobs for your face. It's my shirt. 
this drifty mountainside. I think there are lots of things that are taking inspiration from Nosferatu, so I'm not surprised. Cut my titty again! It's my favorite titty. They can't knock. It's the crowing of the cock. He knows. It's dawn. The master! The master! Interesting, but you never met him. Clever boy. Hmm. No, don't let him do that. Get that crazy man down here. Time to the bed. That'll stop him. Give him an enema. Wait. Put him in a straight jacket and give him an animal. <laughs> what now, buddy? You stayed out too late. No walk of shame for you. Master is dead. No. No! You may not stick your head through the tripod. Stay. You stay. She's alive! She lives! You know, I'm surprised nobody's been turned into a vampire yet. And the truth bore witness to the miracle. At that very moment, the great death came to an end, 
and the shadow of the death bird was gone, as if obliterated by triumphant rays of the living sun. The living sun. Oh, the living sun. The end. And restoration credits. Thank you to those who restored all of the things. Reconstruction of the original 1921 score. Very cool. Hmm. Yeah, this sounds. This is. They definitely took inspiration from this for the Adams family. This had a great influence on many things. Well, that's the shortest credit scene I've ever seen. All right, so that was Nosferatu, Symphony of Horror, the classic vampire film that was almost lost to time, but was saved because it's awesome. What are our thoughts? Classic. I loved that. I thought I would hate a silent movie, and that's part of the reason I've kind of avoided them. So I'm like, what's the point? You just mentioned this is your very first silent movie. But no, it was really good. Like, I, I really enjoyed this, and I loved the soundtrack. That was just beautiful. You know, the other mm. night when I was cruising for eerie music? That would have done it. I could have just listened to this soundtrack. You could have. Yeah. Um, just gives it that whole vibe it needs. Because yeah. silent films, the soundtrack's kind of important. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, very well done. I loved it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I, I can see... He just blanked. Man, Nosferatu totally blank. That's funny. Very nice DVD menu there. Okay. <laughs> That's fun. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a good telling of the story. Um, an interesting change to all of the names. Uh, yeah. yeah, they changed the names because we technically don't have the rights to do a film version of Dracula. It's just uh, change all the names, fudge some little details here or there, but... It's the same fucking story, for the most part, the whole But Nosferatu structure. is such a good name. It and is so a great is name. so is Count Orlock. Like, I would totally name pets those names. Just for funsies, if you're looking for good horror names type thing. Um, I also think it's intriguing how the first take on a vampire has the two fangs in front. Instead of where the eye teeth are. Yeah. Well, in the Bela Lugosi Dracula, he never has fangs. That's true. I think I've seen the Bela Lugosi Dracula. No, you'll see it eventually. But yeah, they don't show things. So that's a thing. Dracula has so many they adaptations that they me. all do their own different mm -hmm. takes on it. Like sometimes uh, they'll have Renfield separate from Harker. Sometimes they'll combine the characters. Mm -hmm. This one just made Renfield the not guy, which is, I think, totally made up for this one. So It's kind of like they took Renfield and Harker and switched their roles where Harker stayed here the whole time and Renfield was the one that went the thing. Yeah, and this one is and just... just reversed it. And this one's just the one wife or lady friend. It's not Lucy and Mina, the two. It's just the one. So that's what you well, get he did these. start to go for the, the friend, if you recall. Mm, yeah. But he didn't actually finish. Which is the difference. Yeah. Uh... But, yeah, very well done for the time, and it's memorable for its making and the controversy surrounding the, uh, oh, we're going to destroy all copies of this, and they didn't destroy it, but now it's just become a public domain film, especially now that the regular copyright length has passed for that, and uh, anybody can watch this whenever you want. Of course, it's... It's old, it's silent, you know, you may not want to watch classic. it. But it's still worth a watch. Joe Bob did do a Nosferatu night where he showed this and, like, the Nosferatu remake from, like, the 70s and such. Very cool. Uh, he was all in, like, his, his fancy old-timey outfit with his pimp boots. We he watch he was like, they're, ne they're neither my shoes. No, they're, they, were, they were pimp shoes. Darcy was right. <laughs> you, were, you were in a pimp outfit, Joe Bob. <laughs> okay. I'll get over it. 
Yeah, um, but yeah, it's very cool that they did that because this is still has its place in horror. It's one absolutely. of the absolutely. This is the groundbreaking horror. F this is like the first horror film to ever horror. I mean, they there were ones before this, but this is the biggest, earliest one that people know about. Yeah, it took the gate and broke it. Like we're not gate crashing anymore. We're just leaving destruction and chaos in our wake yeah. because this is what people remember when they think of the first horror film. For the most part, yeah. There are other silent horror films in the 20s, like especially with Lon Chaney Sr. with like Phantom of the Opera, Hunchback of Notre Dame. They were very big. And it wasn't until once you got to the sound era with Dracula, 1931, then you got the sound horror and all the universal films that followed. And uh, very early horror, but still groundbreaking. And I'm very surprised because uh, I've been watching like movies, as I've mentioned, like from the National Film Registry, uh, like top Oscar winners all because I'm going to get through all the things I haven't seen before and when I looked at that because I think National Film Registry is kind of like the de facto like movie hall of fame and whatnot this is not in that yet and I was very surprised so uh but if you go to that website you can actually fill out a ballot like pick 50 titles you feel should be in the registry and you can do that like once every year so uh next time I do it next year if it's still not in I'm gonna <laughs> definitely fill this out because this definitely deserves to be preserved Absolutely. for its history yeah. I mean, they did a he good job with this release, uh, restoring it as well, the key, yeah. uh, uh, ultimate like, DVD I, edition. I can't... It's flawless. I can't see anything, any breaks or any holes or any weird shit other than, you know, it's the... Yeah. Directed by W.F. Uh, Murnau. He did other black and white stuff as well. type thing. Uh, but yeah, they also got lots of more special features and stuff. It's kind of like, a bit like a Criterion release where they try to fill all the features they can and give it the best quality. Uh, but they did a good job. I, when we're researching this, uh, supposedly this is the best version of Nosferatu that was ever done, so okay. that's why I got this one. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, great restoration. And it's, oh, yeah. It was wonderful. And yeah, so it's always good to see the movies that are foundations of what you see today, just to get a bit of that perspective. And also to realize, hey, sometimes a silent film, just because the medium it's in doesn't mean it's a bad movie. It's just... It was done at a time when that's all they could do, so... Uh, but yeah, I enjoy it highly, because I'm not just a vampire fan, but just seeing... Well, you're a horror fan in general, too, so seeing everything, yeah. like... Just seeing a movie roots. made during the this, time. This is the blues of rock and roll right here, because that... The, the rhythm and blues, the... the Foundation, the it's, it's, inspiration. It's the roots. This is your roots Stepping for your modern style. horror right here. Any good horror fan should know where it came from. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not in my top ten of horror films. Uh, it is probably my top ten. Definitely my top ten of silent horror films. Well, I mean, my, my, my logic is, is this is this is your bedrock. Yeah. This is what horror was built off of. Yeah, like, I have the original uh, Frankenstein in my top ten just because... Uh, it's not top ten scary films, but for the time and the legacy, that had a... Bit of a more substantial legacy when that came out, so mm -hmm. that's why I ranked that in that top ten. My top ten is kind of like a conglomeration of like, okay, what do I like? What do I feel was very well done? What has a blasting legacy and such? And mm -hmm. uh, you know, so I have Frankenstein in that place for like the old school horror, uh, but this one, pff, everyone knows it. It's got its place in history. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I love it. So, you have any final thoughts on this one? I'm really glad I finally got to see it. That's cool. Uh, eventually we can do other ones too as well because the upside of it being so old it's in public domain is I don't have to edit this shit afterwards, which oh, it takes a long time to edit these it videos, does. you have no idea. Uh, it takes them basically all of a work day. Like four to five hours about that if I want to take my time with it. But with this, only about an hour or so just to set it up, render it, and upload it on YouTube. So. Uh, but yeah, so there's other ones we can do like Cabin of Dr. Caligari. I would like to see that, and uh, I would... Uh, and also the Lon Chaney ones, like Venom of the Opera, right. and all that. There are other ones that can be done, so uh, maybe we'll do that in the horizon. Just to have something quickly I can throw on there without having to do all the time it takes to edit, so... Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, so, yeah, this was Nosferatu, also known as Nosferatu, A Symphony of Horror. Um, very cool we got to do this for spooky season and yes. all on our black and whiteness as black you can and whiteness see. yes because we're fitting the vibe matching the vibe not right now 
Good girl. And we have a dog here, so she'll get you'll get fed momentarily. We're almost done here. Uh, but yeah, if you want to support our channel, we have a Patreon where you can give us money and all that fun stuff. Uh, or if you don't want to give us money, you can just follow us on YouTube. But we do love subscribe. You can like, love share anymore. anything if you want to share. You're not gonna share, but you can if you want to. Uh, or just. <laughs> Tell us what your thoughts on this one, uh, your feelings. We'd like mm -hmm. to see any comments you may have or trivia. So, uh, so yeah. So, uh, stay with us for a spooky season. We've got new videos coming out every Tuesday and Friday for this one up a month. Uh, thank you for watching, and we hope to have you for the next video. Until then, stay spooky. Bye.